Hi, this is Diana and today I'm gonna show you how to add music or actually any audio track to a photography. This is great for social media as you can share them as a post or even as a short video format like Reels, TikToks or even YouTube Shorts. For this project we'll be using the free version of Canva and today we are not going to work from the Canva app so basically you don't need to download anything to your phone we're gonna be using canva from a browser so anyone with an android or an iphone can follow this tutorial so if you guys are interested in this tutorial let's go to my computer Today we're gonna be using Canva from a browser. I'm gonna use Google Chrome, so I'm gonna open it and then we're gonna type canva.com. Hit enter and then you're gonna land on Canva's homepage. I have already logged in into my account, but if you guys still don't have a Canva account, I left a link in the description so you can create a free Canva account. Now, we're gonna start by creating a new document in Canva. To do this, you can search for any format in the search box. You can search on these categories or you can click on the plus icon that you see at the bottom of the screen. I'm gonna go for this option and in here you can select any format that you wish. You can even create a custom size document so when you click in here you can add the width and the height of your document. I actually want to create a reel out of this photo with audio so I'm gonna go to the plus icon again and search for reel. As you can see Canva has this option right here so I'm gonna select it. Here we are in the Canva editor and what I'm going to do is to upload the photo that I want to use on this project. To do this, you can go to uploads and select one of the photos that you have on your phone. And from here, we're going to select upload files, then device. And in my case, I'm going to select a photo from my library. This is the photo that I want to use today. So I'm going to select it and then hit add. You will see that your photo starts uploading to Canva. After a couple of seconds, you will see that your photo is fully uploaded to Canva. So I'm going to select it. And then if you want to bring the photo to the back of this project, you can go to this menu below, select more and then set image as background. There you go. Now I have my photo covering the whole page of my project. Now, how do we add music or any audio track to this photo? We have two options. The first one is to upload your own audio track or the second one is to use one of the audio tracks available in the Canva library. Let's discover the first one. To upload your own audio track or your own music to Canva, we're gonna select the plus icon. We're gonna make sure that we have the uploads section open. And from here, we can actually upload images videos and audio so if you have your own song your own audio track you can upload it from here select upload files so you can access the files available on your phone for this project i'm gonna use the second way to add music to our photos and this one is by using one of the audio tracks available in the canva library to do this we're gonna search for the audio section in this menu. I have it right here so we're gonna select it and from here if you are using a Canva free account make sure that you are selecting one of the tracks that doesn't have the pro label. If you are using a Canva pro account you can use any audio track available in the Canva library because you will have access to the free tracks and also the premium ones. If you have a Canva free account and love one of these pro audio tracks you can use our 45 days free trial of Canva pro that I'm going to leave in the description. For this tutorial because we are using a Canva free account I'm gonna select a free song. So 
you can either browse through the selection of songs that we have in here and select the one that you prefer. If you want to listen to these tracks, you can hit the play icon on the image that you see on the left of each track. So let me play this one, for example. I'm gonna tap on the play icon. Let's pause, let's hear the next track. You can also preview or you can hear the songs that are pro or premium. And if you are trying to find something in particular, you can use the search bar that you see on top. I'm gonna go for the ukulele song. So I'm gonna tap on this track and Canva automatically brings the song over my photo. So let me play. As you can see, my photo now has a song. This photo has a timing of 5 seconds, this is given by default by Canva, but you can increase the timing or the length of this photo. So when we select the photo, you will see that we now have some little arrows pointing to the right and to the left. If you want to increase the length of this photo, you can select this arrow and then drag it to the right. You will see that now we have six seconds, we can increase it to seven and so on. Like this, we have increased the length of our photo. So basically we can hear more of the song or the audio that we have. If instead of selecting the thumbnail of the photo, you select the audio track and then select adjust, you can select a particular section of your song so if you don't like the beginning of your audio track or if you want to crop a little section you can move the selection of your audio track and then leave the section that you prefer in this menu that we have at the bottom we also have some other options we have access to the volume i think this one is useful if you are using more than two audio tracks and you want to maybe lower the volume of one of the tracks i like to use the volume option when i'm using music and also my voice at the same time in a video project so yeah this could be useful sometimes you want your voice to be heard over the music and no the other way from from this menu you also have access to the effects section and from here you can add a fade in and fade out to your audio. As I already mentioned, you can add more than one audio track. So I'm going to do it just to show you how it looks and how do we do it. I have a music track at the moment here on this photo, but if we go to the plus icon and you go to the audio section, you can add another music track if you want. In the Canva library, there are a lot of audio effects, so you can also add effects to your video or your photos. If you want, you can also add some of the tracks that you have uploaded to Canva. So let me do it for this example. I'm gonna add this one. And now in blue we see a voice recording that I have done. And the purple line that we're seeing here is the music track. So let me play. Here's an easy trick to create a color palette. Okay, so I believe the music at the moment is very loud. So in this case, I would select the audio track, go to volume, and then decrease the volume of the music track so we can hear my voice better. Here's an easy trick to create a... Okay, this is perfect. If you want to delete one of the audio tracks, you will select the audio track and then select delete. At the moment, we only have a photo as a visual, but if you want it or if you need it to, you can also add text to your photo. So go to the plus icon. From here, we're going to select the text 
section and you can add a text box from here. So add a text box or you can also add some of the font combinations that we have in this section. So you have fonts plus some text effects like for example this neon effect right here i'm gonna go for a text box you will have all the editing tools in the menu below so i'm gonna edit the text inside this box and i'm gonna add sagrada familia to it i'm gonna also change the font so you can type any font that you are looking for in this box. You can change the color, the format, spacing and so on. For this project I'm not gonna be using text so I'm gonna select the text box and then hit delete. I'm gonna show you now something that I find pretty cool and it is that we can add some animations or movement to our photos. So select your photo and then in this menu below we're gonna find the section that says animate. In this case because we only have one element which is the photo and the photo is in the background not all the animations that we see in here are going to make the photo move or is going to have any effect on the photo. The one that I see making a difference on the photo is breathe. Even though the movement is really slow, I can see that the image is slowly zooming in. I can see that photo flow is also having an effect on my photo. It is slowly going down. And then for the rise, I can see that the photo is also moving really slow upwards. Then drift, you will see that the photo moves towards the right. And I do suggest that you check these animations on your own because if your photo has a different format than mine, maybe some other animations will work on your end. In this case, I want my project to be very simple, minimalistic, just one photo and a audio track. So I'm gonna go for none. I just wanted to show you this little trick in case that you want to use it. In Canva you can also add photos on top of photos, you can add little animations or you can even add videos on top of photos. Let me show you how to do this. Go to the plus icon and we're going to open the elements section. From here you can add lines and shapes, you can add any of the graphics available in Canva. Remember that if you are using a Canva free account, go for the graphics without the pro label. And then if you want to find more graphics, you can go to see all or search in this bar. We also have stickers, which are these animated elements. You can add them by just tapping on the element that you want. So let me show you really quick. Let's say that I want to have this animated pattern into my photo. By just selecting the element, you will have this animation on your photo and you can also adjust it. Let me show you what else do we have in this plus icon. We have the photos section or the photo library in Canva. We also have a video library. You can search for photos, videos, elements, or animated elements in this search bar as well. And of course, if you want to upload your own photo element or even video to Canva, you can do it from the uploads section. Once you have your project ready and you want to preview it, you can hit the play icon and check that everything is fine. I think my project is looking good. I only need to crop the length and then I'm ready to download. To do this, go to the navigation bar on top and select the share icon. We're gonna see this window popping up from below and then select download. We're gonna leave this file type as it is, so empty for video and then download. 
video. And this is the final outcome. If you want to use all the premium media available in Canva, I'm going to leave my 45 day free trial of Canva Pro in here. And if you are interested in learning how to edit videos in Canva, I'm going to leave a tutorial that you are going to love in here. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, remember to give us a thumbs up, to share it with your friends, and I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Bye!